in Copenhagen to race the half marathon and I'm going for a PB and I've got a pretty good feeling about it. Hello. Hi. Yes, she is. Why only got one slider on? Wait, no. Alright, what, what have you just done? Shake out. Shake out? Yeah. How long? Four miles. Four miles, strides and drills. First stride always feels like crap, but then you feel better after that. And why are you rushing? Because I'm getting my nails did and I've only got 23 minutes until I have to be there and it's a 10 minute trip away and then shower. And okay. I really need to wash my hair, but I'll have to do it later. Shakeout run part two. I'm late. They didn't have the really bright end, but I feel like that's why I got last time when I had the bright yellow shoes. So I was like, I'm gonna go for matching the upper. Wait till you see this. I'm getting so good at this. I'm telling you. Bam. Damn. Bam. That's um automatic PB, no? Just so you know, if you're not in the loop, nails matching your shoes, automatic guarantee to have a good time. Let's go get some lunch. I was gonna slide down the stairs, but I think that might be an activity for tomorrow. You know, we can go, because there's no one coming. Funny, well, document you jaywalking. Breaking the law. What breaking the law do? <laughs> 45 whole seconds. I like this bench, because it brings back good memories. Flashback time! Then we go on the PB hunt and we see how many minutes we can take off of my 2.34 time. What'd you get? A little bit of lasagna and then just plain pasta, plain bread roll, some hummus and some cauliflower. Keeping it simple. If, if I wasn't raising, I'd have a whole plate of this, but I just thought I'd get a little bit, because I love lasagna. Yep. How's lunch? Did you send me a postcard? What are you talking about? You've gone crazy. You just fell over, Daniel, yeah. and you didn't capture it on camera. So I'm here to tell the people that Daniel just fell over, and I asked if he enjoyed his trip, because that's what you do. Three. <laughs> no! We're stuck. Where are you going? To go and get the essential goods. I know what you really want to watch right now, and you're going to watch it with me. What? F1 qualifying. Filling up your drinks. Um, this is for now. Nice. I've got another one for tomorrow. Cool. Just taking the one? Yeah, well I'll split it into three bottles. It's a special mix. Oh. Uh, happiness, cocaine. Don't say that. <laughs> you're going to get drug tested now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't put that in. Chocolate milk powder, talcum powder. <laughs> Just kidding. It's only the good stuff, the OTE super cops. And this stuff powered me to a 229 marathon, so. You washed your hair? Yes. You look cute. Is that the hair you're gonna race in? No, I'm gonna tie it up. 
You can turn it. This is not going. So this is not going in the video. You don't edit the videos. I do. How come you want bottles? Because um, it starts a little bit later in the day and it's going to be warmer because of that. I would normally take a gel or two on my person for a half marathon and I might take one, I might take two. It's nice to have the option and I personally find it easier to get down that much carb drink than get a gel out and then kind of doesn't coat your mouth as much afterwards. So there's five options and they did give us five bottles, but I brought three out with me. Three is plenty. And I could even miss one or two of them. I'll still take a gel on my person in case I miss all three and I'll just pick where I want to have them. No pressure, but it would be nice to get some liquid in because it's going to be 20 degrees. Yeah. I've just looked, um, which is, it's not hot, hot, but it's enough that it will- It's the heat that you finished it last time, but Start, you know. Start. Yeah, look, it will have an impact, but if you can have some hydration as well, then I feel like I'll be fine. Ah. This video is brought to you by Days. And before you hit that skip button, hear me out for a sec. Now I, by principle, don't drink alcohol during a key training block, which means for 12 weeks leading up to a marathon, not a single drop of alcohol touches these lips because I know it's not gonna help my performance. And it's part of this all in, focused on the goal mentality, which includes not going out and getting bevied. Days is a Scottish born 0% alcohol beer that's 100% natural and both the lager and the IPA taste fantastic. And even I was skeptical before trying them, but it genuinely is the best alcohol free beer I've ever tried. And Daniel even loves them as well. I have to fight him to get my hands on a single can of these beers. That is true. And what that means, I can have a beer in my marathon build up with zero of the negative effects. Now I can even have a crate of them if I wanted to, although I would probably feel a little bit bloated if I did that. And thanks to Days, they're giving you 20% off their entire site. Just use the code philly20 at checkout. That's with one L for all of you people that love to spell my name wrong to grab yourself 20% off the best 0% alcohol beer around for some PB supporting hangover free beer delivered straight to your home or just hit the link at the top of the description. Cheers. Let's go run a PB. Morning. How are you feeling? Alive. Alive. <laughs> Alive. I like your work. It looks <laughs> like a lovely part of the course. Yes. Back we go. <laughs>
Ready? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. Have you done wrong? I wrote my name on my bottles because they didn't tell me there was only a number. So I have to change it, put a new sticker. So we have double stickers. But this is the music that, like, makes me happy, so I'll listen to it. Hold fire because we are about to get going here at the Copenhagen Marathon. And away they go. How was that? It's a weird one, like, I feel like I'm not happy because I wasn't happy for the last 
like four miles. I, did, I didn't find my rhythm for the whole race. I was like yo-yoing between like feeling like I needed to back off if I wanted to finish the race and then like finding a rhythm and being like, ah, oh, yes, I've got it. And then I would lose it again. It's not like I felt like my foot strike rhythm itself physically had gone. It was just like I felt out of sync. I didn't feel like I could just lock in and switch off. Never had a group, so maybe that was part of it. All the water stations were really hectic, but then that's just something you've got to manage and be responsible for anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of wish I wish it was a marathon because I feel like you can just switch off a little bit and not as hot, the pace. I felt like I was racing 10k the whole time, but I can't really be disappointed because I ran a PB by nearly a minute. 72.39 but at the same time I am disappointed because I know that I can probably run, you know, a minute or two quicker than that when I feel good and I just didn't feel good today so I, I felt better in training so yeah it's another race in the bag it's one to probably go away from and then assess and maybe see whether there is anything I could do differently and that's that's the, the great thing about not having the best race is that you learn something so we'll go and see what that is <laughs> I, I tried to enjoy it because that's the most important thing but towards the end like after like mile nine I was just done I'm proud of myself for, for finishing it. All right, let's go chill. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of the like biggest ones I've ever seen. I thought I Yeah. Sugar shake. There we go. Ice cream! Looks so easy in the movies. Mm. It's so painful. Ow! Oh, my abs! Ow! Okay. You thought that would be a lot more fun. <laughs> Bye, flowers. Smelling. So, we're just getting ice cream. I really want ice cream, but my stomach still feels a bit. Bit what? Blah, blah, blah. I agree. Oh, I'm going to get Good. Hmm. Needed. I'm feeling a lot better. I had a really good chat with Helen on the bus. This is why having a coach is so useful. It's not just setting you the sessions and telling you what to do, but she was the voice of reason and she said, how are you feeling? And I said, well, I'm not that happy with it because I wanted to run this. And she said, I thought you might say that. She was like, Billy, this is the fastest you've ever run over a half marathon. You can't be disappointed with that. She also said, sometimes you have to make the stepping stone or the bridging of the gap to the next performance. Anyway, I'm gonna properly reflect, give you a good debrief video, perhaps look at what went wrong and what I do differently next time in the next video. Now, I'm gonna eat my body weight in ice cream. Love the grind.